Okay, uh, so I promised I would do a tutorial on how to get this kind of thing done. Uh, today I'm going to start with these logos here and these backgrounds here. So that seems to be the one question I get from people often. Also, by the way, there has also been a new update that allows you to hit X and pull up the tools menu, which I requested was really cool. Developer did it like the same day. So that was awesome. Developer's great. Developer power. Anyway, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do before you do any of this um, theming stuff, go into global UI settings. This is one thing that people make a mistake with a lot. Go into the global UI settings, select your theme directory, make sure that it is set to the ROMs folder where you store all your ROMs. Not the not like Sega Genesis, but the specifically the ROMs folder where it says ROMs. So you're gonna wanna make sure if you have a, a USB drive or something, you wanna make sure that it is set to the ROMs directory. Um, I'm actually gonna throw in something really quick if you want music like I have in the background, uh, download some MP3s online. I'm going to put a link in the descriptions for where you can actually go and get those, the music files. Um, they're MP3s. Uh, so far, I haven't tried anything but MP3s, so I know MP3s work. But you just put a music folder in the, after you select that theme um, directory, the ROMs directory, put a music folder in your ROM directory and put your music in the folder. Um, you could put multiple uh, tracks in the music folder at once and it will play them, I believe at random. So there's that. All right, so the one thing you're gonna wanna do, okay, so let's say you want video snaps like this. Okay, so we have these video snaps here. If you don't have a lot of ROMs, you can just get any video gameplay, say from YouTube, download it with a YouTube downloader. And you just wanna make sure that you name your video the exact same name as the ROM file you have. And I'm gonna bring up Explore. This is the file manager I use. And you go inside your ROM folder for that game and you create a media folder inside the ROM folder. Inside the media folder, you're gonna create a video folder and that's where you're gonna put your video. And just remember, it has to be, uh, as far as I'm aware, it has to be MP4 format and it has to be the same name as uh, the ROM that you're associating this video with. And then from there, it should just show up. Uh, YouTube videos do work. I tried downloading YouTube videos. However, if you want to scrape those ROMs and you have a big ROM set, uh, you just want to make sure that you take, you get a copy of those ROMs, whether you pull the drive from your Shield TV or you copy those ROMs onto your PC. You will need a Windows PC for this, but you will need to scrape those ROMs on your uh, desktop and I was using hold on one second I was actually using I'm gonna connect to my PC I think as long as it'll work I'm trying to remember the name I think it, oh scrapers from scraper.net I was using that I will put a link in the description for a tutorial on how to use scraper.net to scrape the ROMs and those ROMs will work just make sure that the by default, Scraper actually gives you a videos folder with an S. Just make sure that you have the video, take the S out of the videos folder or it won't work. So it needs to be video and not videos. I had a problem with that. This thing doesn't wanna work. But that doesn't matter because I figured it out anyways. Okay, so we're gonna look back into Explore and make sure you get an idea here. Okay, so now if I want these, 
Here we have the logos. How do we get the logos? So I personally just Googled the logos for the system. So if you have Game Boy Advance and you want a Game Boy Advance logo to show up, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about in Arc Browser. So let's go to Game Boy Advance. We'll try to go to Game Boy Advance, fail miserably. All right, so you see this logo right here. We want this. This is exactly the logo that we're looking for. You're gonna Google Game Boy Advance logo, and the first thing that should come up, well, you can look, there should be a few results, but you can find the one you like the best, and you need to rename that to clearlogo.png, which is here, where it says clearlogo.png, and you're going to put that directly inside the Game Boy Advance media. And now we put it inside the media folder for Game Boy Advance. So everyone is going to say clearlogo.png. And you're going to put it inside the ROMs media folder right there. And then it will show up there in, in, on your, uh, if I can actually think right, in your ARC browser. It'll show right up there. So that's how I have it here. We're going to go over that and we're not going to, I'm trying not to turn off the thing by accidentally pressing the hotkey that I can't disable. Uh, so we'll turn that back on. Hello TV. Yeah, I hate that. I wish I could turn that hotkey off. It can be useful, but it, it, nine times out of 10, I turn my TV off while playing a game. That's annoying. Anyways, so we, again, we have N60, the N64 logo right here. Um, and if I go to the N64 ROM folder, that is placed inside the N64 media clear logo. And as you see, also there's a background.png exactly the same place that you put this background right here. So same thing, but you call that background.png. So what I was doing in order to find this background right here is I searched for a background, a hyperspin background, and I Googled the hyperspin background. I found one that I wanted, renamed it to background.png. If it's a JPEG, I don't know if it'll work, but what I did do was I changed the extension of it to background.png. So even if it's a JPEG, you can change the extension. So if you're not sure, I'm not 100% sure that JPEGs work because nobody mentions them, but changing the extension does work. So now we have this background here and it's in the same exact folder as this logo here. So here we have clearlogo.png, which is that logo that we're using, and the background right here, background.png, inside the N64 media folder, not the video. But like I said, the videos, again, I'm gonna go over the videos. We have videos and this seems to be in a different order here uh, but you just again for the videos you get whatever video it is that you want and you rename it the same exact name as the rom file and then you put it in the n64 media video folder so you make a folder called n64 Inside that folder, you put a folder called media. Inside that folder, you put a folder called video. And then you put your videos in that folder. So, and going back to about the music, here we have our music folder, which is in the same folder as the ROM folder. So you just put a music folder in it like it was a ROM, uh, folder and you put music inside of it and then your music will play.